A Scary Terry is a Funko Rick and Morty vinyl? Yeah, I can dig that. I mean, Rick is no slouch either. Today's video, we're going to be checking out the new Funko Rick and Morty vinyls of Seal Team Rick and Scary Terry. Just for the record though, these are fairly new. I've had these sitting as to get done videos for probably a couple of weeks or so. Finally getting around to having a look at these. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and first, before we do anything else, take the Ultra Measuretron 5000, that's what actually I call it, and we're gonna figure out how tall these stand. So from the bottom to the top, we're looking at SEAL Team Rick standing at about 5.5 inches, which in centimeters quickly translates to 13.9. We're going to unhold that, switch that over to centimeters, or back to inches, I should say. Sometimes it takes a while to get back to back to the beginning. There we go. And we're going to take that right to the very top of Scary, Dar Scary Terry's fedora. Now that seems to make Rick a, make him a little bit taller than Rick. Stopping the Ultra Measuretron right there. There we go. Scary Terry stands six inches in height, which in centimeters works out to be 15.2 centimeters tall. To give you also a better idea of how they stack up one another, yes, it would be safe to say that Scary Terry's fedora does make him a little bit taller, just a hair taller, but maybe that much taller than SEAL Team Rick on the left. Both vinyl figures do come with their corresponding clear display stands, but, unlike some of the other instances we've seen with vinyl figures, take that off, there we go. Both figures relatively stand well. Scary Terry's a little bit on the front leaning side, so we're just going to lay him down for a second just because I want to quickly show you that the display stands appear to be identical to one another. Uh, if I line them up, you know, in those movies where they take, like, the thumbprints and they line it up, or it's like the DNA match, they line it up and it's identical. These appear to be identical to one another. Same sized pegs, same circular clear display stands. So ideally you could mix and match these. You don't have to necessarily put the one that came packaged underneath Scary Terry. You could use the one that came with Rick. Either way, enough yimmering and yammering about it. We're going to go ahead and take the display stands, the clear display stands. I feel the need to kneel, the, the compelled need to say that, clear display stands. We're going to put that underneath, and now you've got two standable figures. Kind of wish that the Scary Terry could have stood on his own, but really the stand is there. I don't know why I just don't use it. This is why I am using it. We're going to go ahead and have a look at a SEAL Team Rick first and foremost, because really I would have got this set no matter what, but kind of the ankling itch to get this kind of came from the fact that Scary Terry was part of the sets. Although I have to say that SEAL Team Rick does look pretty cool. I love the facial expression that they've given him. He still has the mouth slime coming out from the bottom of his lip. He's a very exaggerated expression, but still capturing what exactly SEAL Team Rick looks like. Big bulbous head. He's got, of course, the headband wrapped around the top there. The colorings are familiar and something if you've watched the uh, Rick and Morty cartoon. The coloring of his hair is about the same sort of shade as what we would see in there, complete also with the, the eyebrow, which I do also like the fact that the eyebrow is a separate piece. It's not just simply painted on. This is sort of more my argument as to why Vinyls need to be kind of becoming the more popular trend versus, say, the Funko Pops, which, again, I feel like the Funko Pops are just sort of boring by now. We're, in, we're entering into the realm of 2019, and I think with 2019, kind of same old, same old Pops should kind of be out the way for things in favoring of, say, like vinyls. And I think the vinyls are a much more creative expression for some of the stuff that Funko is able to produce instead of just the same ho-hum Normal type body, big head, big black eyes, which is basically in a nutshell what the Pops have been doing for so many years and it seems to be still something continuing that they're they're producing. So anyways, getting aside from my little rant here, uh, you can also see that Rick's got himself like a little uh, submachine gun, little machine gun rifle there. 
And uh, he's got some nice coloring here, sort of on the bland coloring because they're olives, they're grays. They've got a little bit of yellow there popping just to bring out some of the extra color. And he's got some nice little shiny shoes. Um, I love also the pose that he's in. Normally, a lot of the uh, vinyl figures that we've seen, a lot of the times their arms are just kind of draping to the side. No, here we've got fully armored up, uh, ready to do battle. We got uh, Rick there. Now, he does have posability. His head rotates all the way around. And luckily, I can report to you that may look like the head will clip against the rifle that he's sporting. It just sort of very, very easily grazes past it right there and it still gets a full head rotation so if you did feel like the head would abruptly stop not so much the case you can still rotate the head all the way around i just love the big bulky kind of spikily spikily spiky sort of head that they've given uh like i said uh seal team rick but again like my interest in this set as great as the set really is it wasn't so much necessarily Rick, but kind of my attention was focused over to Scary Terry. I often try to get my any opportunity to really get any new Scary Terry stuff, of course, taken from one uh, Night Stalker, if you will, of Elm Street, taking, of course, some cues when designing Scary Terry. Of course, I have to go then find out any, any opportunity to get a new Scary Terry collectible. I'm usually on board. Now, I have to admit, this one really does impress me. For starters, again, it's not a case where they just painted and printed on the face over top of the body. Uh, here, you clearly got a very distinct Scary Terry head, one of which that could probably not be used for other figures other than maybe another Scary Terry. He does have a fedora, but the fedora is firmly molded to his head. There's no way you're going to be able to take that off. He's got his little stubby sort of ears, and he's got even like these little bumps all over his head, just again, to make it look like it's a very unique mold. <clears throat> something that we don't always get with pops uh two knife gloves not one but two for scary terry and he's got a variation to of course the freddy krueger glove a uh, freddy krueger sweater here with sort of a cross between freddy krueger and charlie brown kind of that m shaped uh striping that he's got on his torso and as well as on his sleeves gone of course are the reds and the greens instead favoring blue and green and a nice light minty shade of green in fact he's got a almost pair of purple pants and brown shoes to match that of his brown gloves now the gloves if you are wondering they seem pretty durable i mean i wouldn't be doing this all day long and i wouldn't be getting very aggressive with it but at the very least i can say that the knives don't look like they're going to be breaking off anytime soon again just don't tease the dog. Eventually it may break. So be very little, still careful, but I can tell you it's not brittle plastic at least. I love the face sculpt though. I think by far it may very well be, marking this in the books right now, may very well be my favorite vinyl figure that we've gotten so far. I know that's a pretty big title to be awarding one collectible, but I'm really digging like the overall coloring. He looks just like Scary Terry, just a little bit smaller and in the proportions of that of the Funko vinyls. His posability is the same as SEAL Team Rick. His head just rotates all the way around. That's all you're really going to get from them. Um, they could have given them also waist articulation, but I mean, really, what what's really the point? I mean, you're only going to be swiveling the waist anyways, side to side. Head articulation, at the very least, at least we're getting that. A nice looking set overall. The benefit of these also being in the vinyl forms, you usually get two of them for about the price point, about $10 to $12. So they're really affordable. Um, they're on par with what I guess you would be expecting to pay for the pop vinyl figures. But in all honesty, I think they're a whole lot cooler. This is a somewhat new set released about a month, maybe two months ago. And I picked it up with the intent that I was going to review it right away. And like every diligent reviewer out there on YouTube doing this thing, I put it on a shelf and I said to myself, I'm going to review it next. And then other stuff filled that shelf. And before I knew it, I was a little backlogged, finally dusting off some of the stuff I wanted to review earlier and having a look at them now. Rest assured, you could probably still find these in comic book stores and some retail stores if you're interested in the Rick and Morty vinyl figures. I think these are some of my personal favorites. They have unique head sculpts and unique body molds. So it does make it feel like they're not using the same molds again and again and again and again. Of course, any reasoning for me to get a new Scary Terry, I twist my rubber arm uh, immediately I grabbed this one because of Scary Terry I like the SEAL Team Rick don't get me wrong 
but there's something to be said about a kind of satire of one of my favorite horror characters here in Scary Terry. And I really think he is one of my all-time favorite vinyls up to this point. Of course, can all, that can always change, and the best way to know if it ever changes is to make sure you're always staying tuned to this channel. Making sure you hit that little subscribe button down below, making sure you hit that bell notification down below, and all those other things that YouTube makes you kind of run through the paces to, just to make sure that all the people that you're subscribed to, you're up to date on the stuff that they're posting. It's absolutely ridiculous. Either way, though, today's video, we were having a look at the somewhat new... I'm doing the air quotes right now. The somewhat new. This was the Funko Vinyl. Rick and Morty, Seal Team Rick, and Scary Terry. A really neat, fun set. All the more reasoning why I love the vinyls more so than I love the Funko Pops. Are you interested in Funko Vinyls? Let me know down below in the comments section. In fact, what do you prefer more? We're going to pose that survey question out to you, the viewers. Do you prefer Funko Pops or do you prefer Funko Vinyls? Let me know down below and the reasonings why you choose one over the other. Uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching as you always do. And I'll see you next time.